St Thomas's Hospital in London. 24-year-old James Dunn is heading to the new Rare Diseases Centre. Hello, we're here to see uh, Dr Malaria. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I like this. I love that wall. James is here to get some news. OK, come on in, James. Thank you. Nice Welcome. And, <laughs> nice and spacious. A couple of weeks ago, his consultant found a cancerous lump in his left hand. So last week you came and we cut that out for you. I can tell you the good news is that it is completely out. There's no cancer left. Oh, thank so, you. Which is really thank great you. news. Yeah. I was thank worried you. about that. Yeah. Thank you. I was really nervous. And luckily it hasn't spread. So it's fantastic. I was, yeah, made up. Yeah. We'll celebrate later. Yeah. You at me like that, good <laughs> James has a life-shortening, rare genetic skin condition called epidermolysis bullosa, or EB. It affects yeah. around 5,000 people in the UK. James's skin, as delicate as a butterfly's wing. My type of EB means that I'm missing the anchors um, and glue in between each layer of skin. So I'd say 80% of my body is covered in chronic wounds. I have to bandage all, all of the wounds, so for, although you can only see my arms, I've got this type of bandage from my neck down right to the bottom of my feet. It's hard, it, it, yeah, it, I, can't, I can't explain it. I suppose it's like your body's burning or, I don't know. Just phoned your dad. Uh, what did he say? I've made off. Absolutely over the moon. The newly opened centre brings together specialist services for rare conditions in one place for the first time. It'll mean better treatment for patients like James and more collaboration between experts. I think there are reasons to be cheerful. Whereas before we've just had medicines and trying to sort of patch people up, now we've got opportunities to provide much more effective treatments through gene therapy or cell therapy and maybe hopefully one day a cure. In Germany, nine-year-old Hassan has just had a highly experimental treatment to successfully replace 80% of his skin. The new treatment will not work for everyone with EB, but it may offer hope for a condition that is severely life-limiting. Within the last three or four years, we've noticed a huge difference from bandages to experimental treatments and research that's going on all around the world. Thanks, Thanks. Well. Take care. Thanks. James is heading home. For all the debilitating pain of his condition, he and his mum remain resolutely upbeat. We've got a good life, haven't we? Yeah. We have got a really good life. You don't know what's around the corner. No. But you keep fighting, won't you? Yeah, keep fighting. <laughs> Every day. James knows his time may be running out. But with the help from the new Rare Diseases Centre and his remarkable spirit, there is always hope. Yeah. <laughs> Graham Satchel, BBC News.